guys in this video we will learn how we can read the excel file using node.js so i have a simple excel file here which is having three columns one is id one is title of a movie and the third one is the year in which this movie has been released so it's just a sample data that we have in excel sheet and we will try to read this data using node.js so guys i have a folder here in visual studio code so we will try to initialize this folder with node.js by using a command that is npm in it so once this folder is initialized with npm command we will be able to see a file that is package.json in this folder and we are going to create one more file here that is server.mjs so we will go to package.json and in the scripts we are going to add a start script for this node.js project so in the start i'm going to mention nodemon server.mjs so as soon as we hit npm start in our terminal our server.mjs file is going to be executed because we are using nodemon in this project so i am going to install nodemon into this by using a command that is npm install nodemon so now we have a basic setup that we need for this node.js project we can save this package.json file and close it so here in server.mjs we can check if our setup is working fine by logging something into the console so i am going to say console log hello world and in the terminal i'm going to start this project by typing a command that is npm start so in the terminal you can see that we are able to see the text that is hello world that we have logged using console.log so setup is working fine so in the next step we will go to the folder where our node.js project is and i'm going to drop the excel file there that we will try to read using node.js so this is the excel file that we have just seen before so i'm going to drop it in my folder and if i open it i can see that it's the same file with id title of a movie and the year in which this movie was released so to read this excel file using node.js we are going to use a package that is read excel file from npm so i have a documentation open here for read excel file that you can explore and try to look at how we can read excel files using this package but in this video i'm going to just show you step by step how to do that and you can explore more into this documentation so first we have to install this package into our application by using npm install read excel file so i'm going to copy this command go back to my node.js project and i'll open a new terminal and paste this command here to install this package into this application so now this package has been installed into this application let's go back to the documentation and see what we can do to read the excel file so here in the documentation i can see that they have a separate documentation for node.js and so first i'm going to import this module from the read excel file package so let's go back to the node.js project and delete this command i'm going to import read excel file from read excel file slash node so i have my package installed in this application and i also have my excel file in the same folder where my node.js project is i'm going to try and read this excel file using this package so i'm going to use this function here and in this function we are going to pass a parameter that is a path to the excel file so once we have passed the path to the excel file we can say dot then whatever the rows it's reading from the excel file and i'm going to console log rows here so now our application is already running in the terminal and as soon as i save it i can see that this package is able to read all the rows that are there in the excel file so in the excel file our first row is the heading that is id title and the year and in the second third and fourth rows we have all the data that we need so we can see that this package is able to read the excel file but we are going to try and improve the format of this data by passing the schema of this data to this package because as of now this is reading but it's not ideal how we want is like we want every row to be in the form of object which says id1 title inception year is 2010 so we are going to try and improve the structure of this data by passing the schema to this module so i'm going to create a new variable here that is schema and the schema is going to be in the object format so in this schema we will be having three key value pairs and one is going to be id and this id is going to take two parameters here that is prop prop is going to be id and we are going to say the data type of this prop is going to be a number and the second key value pair that's going to be in this schema is title of the movie and title of the movie is also going to take two parameters one is prop prop is going to be title and the data type of this title is going to be string 
so in same way we are going to have one more key value pair in this that is going to be year and i'm going to copy and change this to year and data type we can keep it as string so by defining this schema basically we are telling the read excel file function that our excel file is having three columns id title and year and we are also telling this function that what is the data type of each column so the id is in the form of number and title and year are going to be string so once we have created the schema i'm going to pass this schema into my read excel function as a second parameter so this is going to be schema is going to be schema so now let's save this and see how it's going to change the structure of data in the terminal so let's save it so in the terminal now you can see that it's reading the data in much clear form where it says in the first row the id is one title is inception and the year is 2010 this is looking much better than the earlier which was like this so it's a reason we have passed schema to this so now the next thing we can do is so let's say that in excel file we have multiple sheets so i'm going to create another sheet here that is sheet 2 so i'm going to copy all this data to sheet 2 and in the sheet 1 i'm just going to keep delete all the data keep the row 1 for now and let's save it so now if i go back to my application and if i save it now you can see that there is only one row that is coming in the data because in the sheet one there is only one row so it means that by default this function is always reading the sheet one in the excel file but now the question comes what if i want to read data in sheet two not in sheet one so in that case along with schema i can pass another parameter that is sheet and here in the sheet i can actually define the sheet name so i'm going to read the data from sheet 2 this time and let's save it so now you can see that it's totally reading the 10 rows because in sheet 2 we have 10 rows of data and if i change it back to sheet 1 save it again and it's going to read only one row which is in the sheet 1 so that's how we read the excel files in node.js and javascript using this read excel file package so if you found this information helpful subscribe to the channel i'll see you in the next video